welcome to Dear Alice, a lifestyle approach to interior design. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Dear Alice. Today, we are talking about the gift guide, our favorite gifts to give, and who to give gifts to. It's good. It's seasonal. Yeah. We're all thinking about it. Some of us are thinking about it. Yeah. Now you will be. Yeah. Yes, so. definitely. I think most of us are last minute people because we're creatives. Are you a procrastinator, Corey? Um, I love, I love to give gifts. I'm just not good at it because I really want to like dial it in and make, you know, give someone the perfect gift. Yeah. So I overthink it. I'm an overthinker. I've, I've okay. learned that about myself yeah. this year. Okay. Um, but yeah, in a couple I, different ways. But, I think so, yeah. I'm an overthinker too. Mm -hmm. And it's paralyzing. Yeah. And yeah. that's why I procrastinate. Not yes. because necessarily I'm a procrastinator anywhere else in my life, but. You're just too thoughtful. <laughs> too You're thoughtful. Just too damn thoughtful. <laughs> too damn thoughtful. <laughs> so if you are too damn thoughtful, this episode is for you. Yes. We're going to propel you forward in your gift giving. But first, I want to <laughs> know from Corey and Sue, what are your season's vices? Like, what are we craving right now? The weather's turning the holiday decor is up at Alice Lane. We just completed Halloween. We are we are really in the thick of it. It's it got down to like high in the, in the forties, which is blowing yeah. my mind. Yeah. My porch plants are officially dead. Some of them just like hanging over the edge of the pot, <laughs> just completely freezer burnt. Oh. Probably um, gets you psyched. Yeah, yeah. So I'm like, oh no, I gotta I gotta deadhead things. Martha Stewart probably would have said I should deadhead. Probably. Months ago, of course, the procrastinator in me <laughs> is like too thoughtful. It's still warm out here. Mm -hmm. uh, I think they could keep holding on. So I think we're officially at that point where the season has turned and we are starting to have vices. Suzanne Hall was just telling us that she is feeling the feels. What are your vices, Sue? I was saying that when there's seasons and like there's certain things, there's Halloween. There are certain flavors for that, scents for that. Thanksgiving, December, it's already cold. We're miserable, which is like guaranteed why we have all the holidays, like smack dab, like in the. Yeah. Like they're like, keep on going. Least. We're going to keep cheering you on with <laughs> you fun know, holidays to distract you. <laughs> yeah. Spend more money. Anyway, You're yeah. sad. Here's Therefore, another season. I know. <laughs> yeah. Therefore, I feel like I deserve all the things. I'm like, I deserve it. It's like this one time a year. Yeah. I should get the caramel apple. Yeah. It's Halloween by it right, wouldn't taste. Know. It wouldn't taste right it in January. Right. You gotta have it right now. Right? And yeah. like, I, you just—it's so funny how you're heightened to those things. Yes. And like before I came here, did I need a, a mint cocoa from Starbucks? Sure didn't, but it felt like the right thing to do. Yeah. And I deserved it. You did deserve so it. The season told me I deserved it, so uh -huh. therefore I indulged. Yes. So. So it's all the flavors of the seasons. That you're like, I gotta get that in me. Yeah. Yeah. Like, just and like there's an ex like what? it's expiring yeah like there's no guarantee that they'll have any more tomorrow because they might be gone because then there's another show. <laughs> so like anyway anyway i'm very seasonally focused yes and on the flavors. so hot chocolate uh, hot mint chocolate is a vice yeah. of yours what was your what was your halloween vice was uh, there like just soups in general too okay like, yeah i feel soups. that yeah I, i've had soups, soups for every meal since sunday night all i want it's, yeah and Tom keeps making Oh, my gosh. Them. Adam Bennett will not eat a soup. He thinks soups are for girls. Mm. He's like, I'm, I'm, not eating, I'm not eating a liquid as a meal. Mari loves soups. I'm going to have her make some, and I'll, I'll bring it you guys I love some. soup, too. I just I saw Tom her soups. making a squash situation the other night. Yeah, yeah. She was making that for her, her sister. That sounds sick. That looks amazing. <laughs> yeah, it looks yeah. way good. She looks like a really good cook. You're so lucky. Oh. I really am. You I love soups. Best. It's amazing. And they are a full meal. You're like full they are, They are. They're hearty. It's not for a lightweight. I'm just saying, like, Adam Bennett is from Chicago, and... He's probably more of a meat and potatoes kind of guy. Yeah. And beef sandwich. Beef sandwich. Yeah. Pepperoni pizza. Something with some substance. Yeah, yeah. totally. So. He just has it. You know what? Adam Bennett has to have me cook for him, which is a real disadvantage. You've got <laughs> Mari. You've got Tom. I doubt it. Yes, none of us at this table profess to be good soups, but that's not why you guys are watching. Oh, sorry. You like us but because we love interior design. No, yeah. <laughs> but I'm giving you permission that if you crave it because it's a seasonal thing. Go ahead. Yeah. Do it. Yeah. yeah. Permission granted. Definitely. That's what I say. Get that in your what body. You? Get it in your body. Yeah. Quickly. Do you have a vice, Corey, for the season? Um, I mean, a couple. Yeah. So I kind of in the same vein as Suze is talking about. Like, yeah. I was telling Mari that I was like, you know, in January, I'm going to change my workout regimen to like, she's like, why? It's got to enjoy the seasons. You know what I mean? Last night we were 
trick or treating, and our neighbors were giving out making hot dogs. They made over 500 hot dogs for our neighborhood. It was crazy. It's hot dog. And I had just had two bowls of soup, and he's like, "You got to take a hot dog." I'm like, "Yeah, I'm gonna be a good neighbor." You know what I mean? So yeah. I ate a hot dog as well, and it's not typically, you know, what I do. But I'm like, it's this, you know, it's the yeah, holidays. Yeah, giving. Yeah, people are giving. I'm yeah. gonna. You it know, goes back to my accept what people offer. Drink their milkshakes, take their love. Eat their hot dogs. You got to eat their hot dogs. It's a way of accepting them when you take their gift. Exactly. And you eat it in front of them. You're like, this is amazing. Thank (laughs) you. Mm -hmm. Like, you gave hot dogs for Halloween. That reminds me, there was this really funny... I think there's this there's this gentleman that writes the funniest. I don't know if it's a meme. It's just like a quote on Instagram. And he was like... Oh, your quotes. He was like... uh, the neighborhood dad is giving out king size candy bars, so I guess I'm serving prime rib. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> I, had to, I had to put it on oh, the feed, amazing. and my family was laughing so hard. So but funny. that he was like, he's serving hot dogs. What are we doing, Mari? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. I, I did say that. I was like, next year we got to turn our driveway into because we're like in the on the corner and like everyone. Yeah, yeah we're kind of like the center of the neighborhood. Like next so. year we're getting the Traeger out. Yeah. I'm smoking prime stuff. Rib. Yeah, prime rib. <laughs> yeah, and mocktails. Totally, yeah, buddy. Last year, there was a guy um, in our neighborhood that was like dressed as an In N Out worker with yeah. like a whole wagon full of In N Out burgers. And here you are, like in like this oh my candy gosh. Treat, like world. Yeah, and you can't take one more mini Snickers. Yeah, but you just need some salt. Yeah, and I was just like, thank you for passing out In N Out burgers that were yes. like hot off the press. I was like, how oh my are you gosh. still warm? Anyway, I'll take a three by three, cheers. please. Oh, I don't know. Please. Yeah, there was a girl that stopped by last night. Huge groups of kids, and one of the teenagers was like can I get a bottle of water? Like she was so <laughs> thirsty. And I heard Adam was asking the door. He's like, Oh, I'm sorry. You don't have any. And I was like, when you're that thirsty that your body's saying, Give I need a tap. drink. It's past time to have mm-hmm. a drink. Right. Yeah. So I was like, what do I have? Like a protein drink. I, I have protein water. I was trying to think like what I had. LaCroix, the, something. Uh, Come on. The anything. girl needs a drink really yeah. bad. And before I could get there, like uh, they, the whole group had gone. I was like, this poor girl's walking around dying of thirst. So she maybe it's like, out. maybe it's like drinks that I pass out. Sorry. Oh, that's a good you know idea. What I mean? yeah. Yeah. Some Gatorades. Maybe next year I'll be introducing celery or something. <laughs> there you go. Oh, yeah. Um, okay. Vices. Did you say what your vice was? You're going to change your workout regimen. Yeah. Well, yeah. Cause I accept so many things so it's just accepting people's love i think and i mean i I talk about it a million times but we just we went to disneyland for halloween we're going to go for like at least a day it's just so hard to fit that in i'm like man you guys like jack up the prices Uh you get me you have a season pass though don't you i had to renew it in october oh and i went to renew it and the day i went to renew it it went up 150 dollars each pass and i was like you guys you got me you know Shame on me. So did you do, <laughs> it? Done it yesterday. did you do it? Um, yeah, yeah, we did yeah, it. Yeah, you did it. You just did it's part of your exactly. thing. Yeah. yeah. And like, we always make the mistake of telling Grady we're going to do things before they're actually like yeah. written in stone. And it's so hard to just like turn back on that. Yeah, yeah, I can't do it. He has really big, pretty eyes too. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Hard. And he has a really? very sad, sad face oh. that gets me. So <laughs> really lucky for him. I know. Yeah. <laughs> so you your go. your vice yeah, exactly. is Disneyland yes. and saying yes to other people's cooking. Mm-hmm. I like it. Yep. Yeah. I would yes. say mine last night, I turned on Little Women. Mine's like movies. Like I just want to feel good and I want to be in my bed and cozy. And generally I'm craving something salty or sweet. So for sure food goes along with it. But uh, oddly, I don't know that it's a seasonal thing. Mm-hmm. Um. I'm trying to think. It's just that I want to feel a certain way and I want to be in my bedding and pull on that extra fur blanket over the top of my thing and still Adam's pillow and have all my pillows and just like cocoon yourself. Mm-hmm. Make a little nest and get lost in yeah. in some other world that just feels really good inside my spirit. You know, I just want to feel good. So that's what I've been doing lately. I did the whole You've Got Mail thing during the fall. And oh, I feel like that movie's the best for yeah, the fall. Yeah, yeah. A bouquet of freshly sharpened pencils. pencils. Definitely. Yeah. Well, in holiday movie-wise, um, um, what is the one? The Family Stone? I was so just thinking good. about that this morning because yes. I was like, I can't wait to watch that. So That's my favorite. Good. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I know we always like say the holiday and stuff like that, but I really watched The Family Stone so many times last year. I really mm-hmm. liked it. And I oddly like, um, I watched this one this week too. It's the one with Jason Bateman and they're sitting Shiva. And oh, yeah, I love that. It's uh, so funny. Um, Jane Fonda is Fond the you. mom. This is where I leave you. Oh, yeah. 
love that one. Oh my gosh, you got to see okay. it. Yeah. Is it Christmas? What are, what are we? No, mm-hmm. they're just all together as a family. And I feel like I'm craving family as well. And they're siblings and they're so funny. The relationship of the different, Adam Driver is, is Jason oh, Bateman's brother. Yeah. And yeah, it's just funny. Mm. Anyway. Yeah, movies getting lost in some, somebody else's world. Yeah. yeah, and there's an element to sad, like the same with the Family Stone. Yeah, it's just like man, it just tugs at your heartstrings. Yeah, and, yeah. Is, yeah, yeah, definitely. Okay, okay, let's talk about gifts. All right, all right. So um, we have lots of different categories of gifts. Yes. But uh, well, actually, we can take them. We were talking about teacher gifts. Do you guys mm. give gifts to your kids' teachers? Never have. Well, Grady's in kindergarten, our oldest. Yeah. So. But and I don't know, has this caught on everywhere in the world? I'm guessing it has. I imagine. Yeah, I've yeah. I've heard about teacher gifts more in the last, I'd say, five to seven years. When my kids mm-hmm. were growing up, they're both out of the house now, so they're like 23 and 18. Mm-hmm. Teacher gifts weren't a thing that was talked about, and I didn't know we were supposed to do it because growing up, we didn't give our teachers gifts. Mm-hmm. I feel so bad. We should give them gifts. So now yeah. you guys have littles that are officially in school so are you giving teacher gifts this year? And if so, what are you giving? Okay. Yes, I do give teacher gifts because I'm like, that's a massive amount of time that like they're spending with like my really, my yeah. kids, which I likened into hot sauce. I'm like, I have three boys, which is like having three doses of hot sauce all the time. Yeah. That girl needs a gift. Yes. Or a boy, if you're a boy teacher. Yeah. So yeah, we give teacher gifts. Um, the thing that I like, and I don't know if like other schools do this, but it's so smart. Our elementary school has a whole Google Doc with all the teachers and all the different categories of their favorite things. Amazing. Their favorite sports That's team, amazing. Their favorite, if they like candles, if they don't. Because, like, that was kind of my go-to. Because I work at All Saints, shoot. I was yeah. Like, you know, wrap up a pretty candle. Everyone likes a candle. Everyone likes it, yes. So, not last year she didn't like candles because she's probably been given way too many candles. Yeah, she's got a cupboard you know, full so of candles. So, it has, like, her favorite drinks, her favorite, like, places to shop so you could buy them gift cards and so that was so nice I'm like if they didn't have that list Mm -hmm. I know now that like I would go to my son's teacher and say okay here's the thing I want you to fill it out so I just like know Mm -hmm. your vices yeah I can know like what will help you get through the next day yes right yeah so and I think that could go for a lot of a lot of people, even like someone that you're just like meeting or just understanding ask the questions so that you can log it away you know, just as a gift to understand yeah. what makes them tick. I love that. So, yeah. so if your if your school doesn't provide a list of what your teacher's favorites are, you could email the teacher and ask mm-hmm. what five questions would you ask? I would ask them like their favorite. It has like favorite treat or candy bar, favorite place to shop, um, if they do or don't like candles, mm-hmm. um, favorite sports teams, favorite flower. Mm-hmm. You know, depending yeah. on if it's, you know. And favorite place to shop is you'll just get them a gift certificate there yeah, and then they like can get whatever they just want. Like Amazon, Target, you know, they usually, they say what their favorites are. And there's like probably 30 things that they give us. They're really well equipped on this list. But yeah. I think those are a good starting five, mm-hmm. you know, and then yeah, you know, kind of go from there. Totally. I'm not going to lie. I have obviously never even thought of giving a teacher gift because I'm not in that, just barely in that season of life. Yeah. I think if I weren't so like, Grady's kindergarten teacher is like lives in our neighborhood. Yeah. We go to lunch or dinner with her and her husband mm-hmm. often. If I weren't that close, I I don't know if I would give them a teacher gift. We'll see you next year because yeah, I think we'll see. I think yeah, every even if it's just honestly a love note from your kid. Yeah, mm-hmm. then, like I make sure that no one always like draw something, write something. That he's grateful for them because, like, it's a hard Makes job. Makes him a card or something like Makes that. Makes him a card. Yeah. Like, those are they like could even give that your kid could even pick something out for it. Totally. I think, as a mom, when your kid picks something out for you for Christmas and you can tell that, like, yes. they really picked out, it is so good. Mm-hmm. It's so good. So, your kid could even wander down an aisle that you choose for them to wander down and get her or him something. Yeah. And that would be so genuine, the love note from a child mm-hmm. and something that they think is totally perfect for that teacher. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> you know? And whether it is or not, like I think the teacher is going has a sense of it. humor yeah. because she's here. She is a teacher. Mm-hmm. Yeah, totally. Yeah. May or may not have is like, there, what are a you... crop top for his teacher from hundred percent. That's amazing. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah. You. yeah so. I love that. Yeah. That's hysterical. So what are you going to give the teacher this year? Um, Haven't decided yet. Still thinking. Uh, Mm -hmm. She has very cool style. So I did give Mari a list of things like from Alice Lane. I was like, we should get her, you know, one of these things. So. Oh, that's cool. Mari's going to choose. Yeah. 
I love I like that. This. Are you the better gifter or is Mari? Like, same. I imagine that you um, are, not Adam. But. Yeah. Mari is better about getting it done. Mm-hmm. I'm more thoughtful behind it. Too damn thoughtful. Yeah, I, I'm not. Yeah, I'm not patting myself on the back, but yeah. she is. She is better at. You're the at, overthinker. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, Adam Bennett is. Um, don't come for me, everybody. <laughs> Adam Bennett is raised Jewish, and he believes, or this is what he tells me. So this is probably not a cultural thing. It's probably just an Adam thing. But he says that Jews give money. Mm-hmm. And so even like at a shiva, somebody would come and they would tuck money in the pocket of somebody. Or, oh, I'm so sorry, that's so tough. But they just give money for everything. So on the Christmas tree, well, I've said this before, um, envelopes come from the Jewish side of the family. And he puts the envelopes in the tree because that's what they would do. And, of course, there's either cash or a check inside of those from his side of the family. Mm-hmm. So they don't give a gift they give money. And I think the intent there for his parents for sure would be for us to put that in some sort of account that's going to be able to bear interest and, you know, accrue things over time. I always spend it all, but that's what we're supposed to do with that, I think. So the kids always spend their money too. So Adam doesn't know how to give a gift. He just knows that you're supposed to give money to people, which is really funny because we're not that type of culture. We more think of something. But in that note, I have to say I learned years ago, because there's sort of an ego sometimes attached to gift giving, totally. right? Totally. And people yeah. want to give something that reflects them. And when you can change the paradigm and you can give them something that they would love to receive, yeah. and don't think about yourself at all. Like, well, I want to make sure that they know that it's not about that. It's the teacher thing. Like, mm-hmm. I don't like candles. I like the University of Utah, right? And you're like, yeah. well, I'm an Aggie, so I don't want to buy a Ute thing. You're like, absolutely you do. She loves yeah. it. You give it to her. Yeah. So you just think up. really hard before you're giving that gift. What would this person love to receive? Mm-hmm. And it might not be something that you like to give, but you got to give what somebody wants to receive. So true. Yeah. And it's yeah. it's a totally different thought on money because that's a different part of the brain. And I think giving gifts like kind of hits all different parts of the brain, mm-hmm. whether you're right brain or left brain, like creative people might be like, I want to make them something, yeah. you know, <laughs> <laughs> like, and uh, you're giving it to somebody who would hate that. Uh, so I'm going to crochet in my hand. You know what I mean? Yeah, there's, totally. there's a lot of, there's, lot. there's so much going on, which is why I was like, this is a really good podcast yeah. because we all think differently about gifts. Also, mm. some people are very generous in gift giving. Other people are not. And so it might be a real shock to the system to give a non-giver, a non-generous person, a very generous gift, Mm -hmm. right? I grew up in a family where I think you guys have heard me talk about my mom's extra, extra large Rice Krispie treats, which are like a loaf in themselves. She only does XL. That's how she gifts. She gifts everything really, really big. And I grew up thinking that that was normal. So we're a generous gift-giving family. My husband is a non-gift giver. He's greasing the palm. With the, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 And so we come from very different schools of thoughts. Yeah. And I'm sure those of you listening, you and your partner might think differently yeah. about gift-giving. Mm-hmm. And you might think differently about how much of a gift to give or what's enough to give. Or, right? There's yeah. just so yeah. many different schools of thought. Or even like how and when to give it to them. I personally, my I'm fine speaking in front of people whenever at church I'm asked. I uh-huh. always do it. Yeah. I'm yeah. totally okay doing that. Yeah. Someone brings me a gift and wants me to open it in front in of front them. In front of them. My worst, like I get, <laughs> I am I become so awkward. It's not my thing. I agree. There should be some sort of um, etiquette, etiquette yeah. that's that's like, it's okay to not be there when, when they give a gift. Because some people have faces that just tell the truth. Mm-hmm. Or they no might be like, yeah. what is it? Thank like, you. Yeah. 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 Totally. My, I feel that's like so when, when I was first married, either my no, grandma-in-law uh-huh. or my mother-in-law, yeah. they loved to crochet. And so we would get well, I thought I thought everything was hot pads, but <laughs> it's not. It's not hot pads, guys. Uh, it was so gloves, or it was a hat, or it oh, was a a dress for my newborn, or I didn't know. It was. Mm-hmm. It's hard to tell sometimes exactly what these <laughs> things made of, of yarn of yarn yeah. are. No, it took time to construct whatever <gasps> it is. Definitely, but yeah. you're like, I think I just put it on the counter and put a hot pan on it. I'm not really sure, you know. Put it put it around a bowl, and that's and your, it's always yeah. and it's always that marled yarn, and uh-huh. so it's like multicolored, and so when that the thing is. gets put together, it's just the coat of many colors. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Yeah. So anyway, it's but it's. A 
the gift of time. Uh And I think if I could go back and find those things in my little girls, boxes of baby stuff, I think at some point that's going to be really precious to them. And I've held held on to all of it. But anyway, gift giving, it's, it takes, um, yeah, I think we need to think about what people really want to receive. Mm -hmm. Um, So with that, that. um, let's keep talking. So host gifts. Do you guys believe in host gifts? You're going to somebody's party. Okay. So for us, I don't know when this podcast will be released, but Thanksgiving hasn't happened yet. So you're going to go to somebody's home that's preparing a meal. Is this true? Or any of you guys hosting Thanksgiving this year? Um, I'm going to a Friendsgiving on Saturday. Are you? Currently trying to find a babysitter for it. You should probably get a host gift for that. Yeah, I was... Glad we're talking about that. Exactly. Yeah, Yeah. so maybe I should. Uh Because, I mean, I saw... I saw a quote on Instagram the other day. Oh Listen God. to me. I'm 105. Your, al- your yeah. algorithm is real. But it was like, it was talking about how groceries are so high right now that we should make Thanksgiving a taco night. <laughs> <You're> so <laughs> you know true. I mean? Taco but, Bell night. Maybe. Yeah. yeah so I don't know. That's the reason That too. being said, um, they were like, groceries so high? <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> yeah. Let's make the, uh, Thanksgiving a taco night. So <laughs> anyway, I do think though that Friendsgiving is going to be very expensive and you're probably all bringing something to the table but Mm. still hosting is stressful so yeah um and it's like Mm -hmm. one of my really good friends i've known him literally since i was 12 he so he's in his you know towards late 30s just got married in july so that he's like i'm hosting it like him and his wife you know what i mean so like housewarming yeah it has to be so yeah yeah, Yeah. you gotta bring something Yeah. yeah and um guys this might surprise you but we live in utah and so a normal gift a lot of people would say would be great for the house to be a beautiful bottle of wine but the three of us at this table don't drink so we don't think to give wine so know that a bottle of wine is probably a really good answer mm-hmm. yeah we probably won't say that but what were you thinking or do you do you, are you bringing a hostess gift to judy host or hostess mm-hmm. yeah grandma I usually like will get her because she loves a practical thing. So I think also knowing like if she's gonna like she's not gonna be a true on candle. No, she's, she's not, not gonna appreciate the luxury of a true on candle. Uh-huh. But that girl will love a Fraser fur dish soap. Oh and yes. Like, yeah, so so if it's something that she can like use in her everyday like life, uh-huh. that's the hostess gift for my mom, and that's where we have Thanksgiving. Yeah, so I usually get her. That's Fraser such a great gift. So I think that's tell the really people easy. what a Fraser fur dish soap is and also oh, tell them why you call her Provo too. Grandma. Okay. I was <laughs> able to, my mom was setting up her Insta, Insta face, her Instagram like years ago and I was setting it up and trying to find something. So I actually gave her the name Provo Grandma because she's Provo's grandma. Uh-huh. Like She lives in downtown Provo, which is about an hour south of Salt Lake. And uh, she's just so darn cute. And she just gardens like... She's amazing. She feeds a She's so domestic. With one loaf. I will tell you that. Like yeah. that woman hosts fifty people every Sunday. Yeah. She's amazing. So, but she like she really thrives on practicalities, mm-hmm. and she's not one for like lots of little luxuries. But I try and make her practical practicalities a little bit more luxurious. So, Fraser Fur yeah. is from a company called Times T H Y M E S. Yes. And like Fraser Fur is our favorite. We've carried them in the store yep. before, like all their scents. But Fraser Fur is the one that they release at Christmas time mm-hmm. and it just smells so good it, it smells, smells exactly like a, like a Christmas tree it's so fantastic yeah. and there's it's got something else in there too like it's not just like super it's woodsy. a little sweet it has like some so sort good. of yeah like yeah. And but it feels like the holidays people rush the door and we sell out it's online so yeah. y'all get should it. get it online um the dish soap is a fun one because because your whole kitchen smells like you burnt a candle. So every single time you wash the dishes. Yeah. Like the grandma, that's a lot. So if she's so. doing a lot of, like for me, I set plates and all of that stuff in the dishwasher. But if you have a lot of serving big cooking dishes, you're going to do them by hand. And this dish soap is a gift that keeps on giving. Did you know she also, a dishwasher? We remodeled the house. Oh. And she's like, I'd rather have the storage. I like to hand wash my dishes. Perfect. So, so this is yeah, really the best gift. Because really I was going to say, it. my Fraser for dish soap will last until February, right? Right. Yeah. And you're like, oh, no, it still smells like Christmas around here. But it's so <laughs> lovely and earthy and it's snowy outside that uh, it still fits. I feel like as long as it's cold. Yeah. It's, you're Amen. fine. Totally. Totally. If you're doing that totally. in May. Yeah. No, no dice. Yeah. yeah. Also the Tatine Pine Orange. Like, <gasps> oh, yeah. Tell them about that. One. Tatine is one. I hadn't smelled it since or before we went to the Made Goods dinner party. Yeah. And we like, I excused myself to go to the bathroom. I think we both did. And we're washing our hands and we're just like, or you came back and you're like, like Regina no, George. My hand. <laughs> yeah. I feel like it's it's never that with you that you're always just like, what is this scent that they have? Oh you know my I mean? gosh. I just was so like, good. I kept smelling my hands all night and just could not <laughs> stop. It's the greatest, 
greatest. And that's like an all year. I could have that all year. Around. All year. Like it's the particularly like good in the winter because too, orange is so. a is a winter fruit. Yeah. Yeah. And then the pine is it's so it's in a black glass bottle with a black pump and you have that in your powder bath. And you're the chicest person on earth. It's the yeah. coolest. Yeah. yeah. And all their scents are great. But my mom is like, she's a sucker for pine. Oh, so, love. Anyway, so yeah, that would be my hostess gift. Or you, you just inspired me. I know. Or the teak board. Yes. The teak board, I think, is like a fantastic hostess gift. Because then it's something yes. you're always like, when we're preparing, like, because we always host people too. And it's just like so nice to have just like really beautiful boards to like, you know, tell them, a bunch of stuff. Tell them what teak board you're talking about and where do you get okay. it. Okay. Well. The original teak board was at your house. You had like the coolest teak board. It was this really wild live edge and it was, it was olive wood or, uh-huh. or walnut. It was just so pretty. And we kept wanting, we're like, we need to find something like this to put in everybody's kitchen yeah. or to gift because it really is the best gift. Yes. So we actually had them made. So we have a small, a medium, and a large. Mm-hmm. Um, I thought I'd want a medium, but I just, we, we serve such large stuff, mm-hmm. such large groups that I have two larges now. Yeah. I just love it so much. And it's yeah. just, again, it's this live edge, really, really heavy. You can put, what did I say? I'm like, you could throw Beto's on that thing yeah. and it looks fantastic. Like it For looks real. like a million. Beto's is a Mexican restaurant. Yeah. You can just go like a bean to the drive through. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, but on a teak board, it's so pretty. So I think that that's such a pretty gift and you put a, you know, a ribbon around it with a card. Thank you. Yeah. I would love to get that. As totally. Well as yeah. And I don't think you can have too many of them. No. Just pile those in the pantry. Well, and like you have a beautiful picture on your phone where um, you just have like, um, what do you call them? Like baguettes, sliced, yeah. open faced garlic bread, toasted, marinara in a bowl. And they're just like all laying on there. And she's serving that along with soup. But everything they're serving, they always put on the board. And it just looks so okay. appetizing. Ooh. It looks better than anything you're going to get at a restaurant. Yeah. The board is really thick. So it gets it up off the table higher. And it just sort of presents itself mm. in a really gorgeous yeah. way. I didn't realize you had two larges. That's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. The live, I have a large and a medium. The live edge of it too is like so, so good. Level. That is a really good hostess gift. Mm-hmm. I love and, that. And also it's That's like a do. piece of art. Um, if you lean it up against your backsplash or your stove, this wild live edge board, you can grab it anytime you're pulling something hot out of the oven and pop it on there. You don't need to get a serving dish. Something yeah. about wood too is just gorgeous and natural and it makes it more appetizing. Like usually like lighter natural stones too, or any stone really. Yeah. Like it's just like it's, the massing is so pretty. And if you're a door dasher, like you don't even have to cook. Like it'll look pretty on there. So just have that. And I think anything that we're putting in people's kitchens, we want it to be functional. Yeah. Like we want it. So like even if you, you're not using it, I want people to think that you take that down and you actually serve on it, and hopefully you do. Hopefully it looks like a does. chef's kitchen. It does. It's yeah. so pretty. So I think, yeah, the hand soaps, candles, the teak board, mm-hmm. I think would be my go-to hostess gifts. I totally dish agree. Dish towels, like Leap Co. dish ca- towels. Mm. Like, how pretty would that be on top of the teak board? Yes. We're staying too long on hostess gifts, but. Love. We I love all of those. On. That's we could do so a whole good. podcast on hostess gifts. Uh, yes. right. For reals. That's great. A co-worker. Do you guys have um, great gifts you love to give co-workers? Mm. Well, yeah. I can't wait. A couple right here. <laughs> yeah. yeah. This is a tricky one because like before it used to just be like a small like little round table of us. Yeah. And now there's so many. And so it's always like, how many do you give? Like, do you give it like give your bosses gifts? Do you give like just your close people gift? But then are, is everyone else going to like see that you got a gift? So like, yeah, what do you do at that point? Mm-hmm. And so I think it just like depends on how big is your circle. And so I remember one year like Trader Joe's had these like little like burled salt cellars. Oh, and so I'm cute. like, oh my gosh. And they, they were like decently priced. I'm like, that's something I can grab and I can put like artisan stuff, put a bow around it. And cute. I can give those away as like employee, like mm-hmm. you know, just worker, co-worker gifts. Yeah. And it's something that's thoughtful and it looks pretty like something I think anybody would use represents. Yeah. You know, we said don't represent yourself when you're gift giving, mm-hmm. but I think there's a part of it too. Like even if it's the way you present it, I think how you wrap it, it goes it into, you, um, it's something for them. The favorite things, right? Yes, exactly. Cause that's a very common gift giving, um, technique amongst a lot of women. I don't know if men do this, but it's like, yeah. actually my brothers do it. They're like, Hey man, I got you one of these cause I love it. And I yeah. use it all the time. Yeah. And it's a real, I think that's a real genuine way to give a gift if you don't know them or if you know that you're just like them, but it's just like, I'm obsessed with it. You're going to love it too. Mm-hmm. My sister got me this really great, um, I think it's a Frank and Eileen denim dress. Mm-hmm. And she's like, it's going to be like a muumuu. You're going to just put it on every Saturday. Mm-hmm. We did install. I've done installs in it, photo shoots in it. It's You have to make one decision. You just 
put one thing on. You don't have to choose pants and a blouse and a belt and a sweater and a, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like getting dressed is a whole thing. So I have loved that gift, but she's like, I wear mine all the time. You're going to love it. Your life is busy and it's going to serve you well. And it has, it's so great. So the favorite thing, I think back to the burled salt thing, or like, I'm thinking like your favorite lip gloss because Utah's so dry. I feel like we're always cracking. And so like, a great lip gloss is a really fun yeah. one. Also, like the amber, that amber roll-on perfume. Oh, my gosh. They have it Tell on amber, about that. Amazon. Yeah. Um, the I brand name. Heard. Yeah, it's called Amber. Do you guys know what it is? It's like a little roll-on. Let me look it up on Amazon because this I is. I have one in my purse. It's $20. Um, go get it because we can hold and it actually, up. Actually, I, f- I saw it for the first time like at Ulta. Like yes. In like the little. Ulta sells it at the. Line where they get you. Yeah, <laughs> totally. Yeah. Yep. Um, I'll tell. I'll say something while you guys are searching for that. Yeah. Uh, A really good gift that I got one time, and it's in that same vein of turning on, turning someone on to something that like you're into. A really good friend of mine gave me a pocket knife Uh and it was like, I'm not into the world of pocket knives. He's like, this is, this is an awesome one. Yeah. And uh, I use the hell out of it. Yeah. And I never thought, I, I just, I'm not one to like carry a knife around, but I've, I don't always, but I carry it quite often and yeah. I'm always like cutting open a box or you know what I mean totally. I I'm got like, do you keep it on your person or where do you keep it at um sometimes yeah yeah if yeah. S- others it's when I'm like ah should I have a knife right now you know what I mean so it's it's very situational but yeah it's something that I never yeah. had never done yeah and I've loved and the now you're a knife guy it. exactly knife I guy. love yeah. that, that really yeah good. okay so this is the perfume it's mm-hmm. by um, Nema N-E-M-A-T and it's just called Amber um, Fragrance Oil. And it looks like this. This is not a paid ad either. No, it's not. Oh, but, but I'm telling you, anytime I give anybody a compliment on their perfume, I'm like, what are you wearing? They're like, it's just that cheap $20 Amber. I'm like, of course, I have that at home. But it's a good one to keep in your purse. Like if you're totally running into dinner after a full day of work that you can just hurry. Well. Oh, yeah. You can just hurry and really good. roll I, There's nobody that doesn't smell amazing in it. You know, you just roll it on your wrist and it's... 20 bucks on Amazon. Ladies or men, if you have a purse. You can honestly, like, look it's in your purse. I just easy. saw, like, probably three things in my purse. So when I was grabbing that, I'm like, that's a great gift. That's a great gift. What that's else? There was, like, a little tape measure. Like, a pretty oh, tape measure. yeah. To, like, give any of your girlfriends. That's a great one for your coworkers so because we're all designers. Exactly. And we all need to. All need a pretty tape measure. I just, just used mine today. Time. Yeah. Exactly. So, like, honestly, those are, like, great favorite things. to so just, like, mm-hmm. go through your collection and then buy it in mass on Amazon. Yep. And wrap it up. I love it. That's really smart. I'm really into the under eye patch right now at my phase in life. I'm <laughs> 48 years old. So I'm at that stage where like the under eyes are really starting to show the wrinkles. I'm telling you, if I put on the under eye patches, if I actually put them on under here and over my eyelids, the puffiness goes away in the morning and I can just hurry and brush my teeth and take whatever pills and stuff I have to and rip them off and do my makeup. So it doesn't really take any more time. It's not very expensive. I swear to you, the wrinkles are gone and I feel so much better applying makeup so that it's not getting in all my creases. And I heard actually Jamie O'Banion was like for a great teacher gift, beauty, beauty bio sells, um, I think eight, maybe in a box and you can like take three and time with a bow and give them as a teacher. She even says she keeps her under eye patches in the refrigerator. Oh. You guys, Extra creo. That's how amazing. amazing would that feel in the morning, like cold under eye while you're brushing your teeth? You'd be like right wide awake, you know? Yeah. That's, um, why, that's why I start every day with the cold the splash spitz. of the face. Thank the, you, Jason Baton. The you know? Yeah, yeah, the Schmitz. Um, Yeah. So I think, um, you know, you guys can find any brand or if you're obsessed with the brand, I think that's a really great coworker gift also. And again, you don't have to give the whole box. You could divvy them out with a bow around them and be like, I start my day like this. I love it. You know, mm-hmm. so and we all really want to know each other's tips, like tips of life. We're all trying to figure it out. And yeah. So if, if like I remember you had me try some when we were at market, and I was just like, those are yes. legit. Yeah. So yeah, thank you. they're great. I got thank my you. sister on them. She's been doing it now for like a whole year because I started her Fresh. at Christmas. Yeah, there's like some really really affordable gold ones on Amazon. They're like nine dollars and they last a month. Um, I mean, there's enough in there, 30 pair for a month. Um, so we all just kind of, we don't gatekeep, but it's a way of sharing favorite things. Mm-hmm. And I think that is always a go-to that. good thing. And people love it because you love it yeah. or they'll use it up because they're like, oh yeah, this makes me think of her. And there's like a real yeah. kindred closeness that. that comes with sharing favorite things. So that's good for, um, for coworkers for sure. 
If you're giving them a gift, you probably love them. I love that. Yeah. Um, little plants. A little plant is really cute, too, or an orchid. Um, we have pots right now at Alice Lane from one of our favorite vendors. It makes beautiful um, ginger jars and beautiful so Asian pots and stuff. And you just drop an Some orchid. Of actually behind you. Yeah. No, those are bigger ones. But. Yeah. You just drop an orchid in it or any plant, and you're giving this beautiful thing they can keep on their table or entry yeah. console or something living, I feel like, is... is I, I love it. I love having plants to love and take care of. I love gifting herbs, especially because it smells so good when you gift it. Oh, yeah. Yes. So like, I kill a orchids. Idea. I cannot keep an orchid. That's the easiest of all the plant kingdom. Not to for this girl. Just once a week. Just give it a little I think something. I love it too much. I do. I think, I, I think I, yeah. yeah. That's how they all die. That's all anyway. Right. Yeah. I think that's a great idea. Yeah. One of my favorite things, and this is from yeah. Yeah. the live event because we had yeah. a couple of Cozy Earth. Uh, Faith yes. sleep masks. Yes. Let me just, I'm the worst sleeper. Aww. If like, I didn't know that. You, yeah. If there's like a crack, like where you can see outside in the blind, there's like light coming through and then a car drives by and you you can like see the light, like travel across. I like wake up and I'm like, then, and my brain's on. Good thing you have a knife. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Ready to go. A knife. And well, now I have the sleep mask. I slept with that thing. I was like, this not going to, you know, so I'm not going to love it. We got these sateen, like, Cozy Earth, the most dreamy sleep masks mm-hmm. for the Your House Life event. And yes. And yeah, and I'm about. just like, Mari loved it. I was hating on it. I tried it. I fell asleep. The next time I opened my eyes was morning. Stop. And I was like, that was the, <laughs> is this what real sleep is? Like, oh my gosh. it was amazing. I've slept with it every night since. Oh, and, and I, it's light as air. Like, yeah. it's, it's silky so, soft and so just lovely. so light that you hardly know. And it doesn't get pushed up on your face. It, like, stays yeah. on your eyeballs. Thank you for reminding me. I'm yes. going to take my to go to DC this weekend. So yeah. I'm going to throw that on. Yes. This night. It's really Thank is you. the best. Do it. So oh. I've been, I, it's been hard for me to get out of well, bed. Well, I, I have to say this too. There's a, I was thinking about what gifts we should talk mm-hmm. about. There's a reason why Cozy Earth is Oprah's favorite things like four or five years in a row. Mm-hmm. Truly like, I think sweats, I, I don't know about you guys and your family, but traditions for our families, like all the girls get matching pajamas and the granddaughters and the teen girls are getting matching sweats this year. And But there's always some sort of loungewear pajama component. Yeah. We're all hanging out in the same clothes at the Christmas party, eating and giving gifts. And it's mm-hmm. such this togetherness bonding thing. Mm-hmm. And I think it's I think it's pretty common that yeah. people love to do that. If you don't, it's a really fun tradition. Really fun. And then you get new pajamas every Christmas, which is great. Mm-hmm. Um, but I have to say the Cozy Earth Sweats are amazing. Amen. The Cozy Earth Cashmere Socks, I got myself up two pair of those. Ooh. You guys, like... It's like a sleep mask for your feet. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's so fluffy and lightweight, but warm, but not too hot and not itchy, but they're knit and they're Baby off-white. Bears for, your, mm-hmm. for your feet. Baby bears for your feet. <laughs> yes. Everything from them really legitimately they is like amazing. You wear, you would wear them as, you don't wear them as normal socks, like maybe around the house. Like yeah. I mean, if you, yeah, if you, ha- if you wanted to wear snow boots, you could, cause they are just, they're not super thick, like a ski sock. They're thinner than that, but they're not super thin. And I feel like today, nowadays we like a really thin sock mm-hmm. or a no show with our tennis shoes and you know what I mean? Yeah. So I, it's just a little bit thicker than that, but they're so lightweight and you could wear them with like slippers around your house, wear them as slippers if you wanted to, but I have two pair of them. And now that it's cool, I p- just put those things on at night and get in bed and it's like the sleep mask for your feet. Awesome. <laughs> so good. Yeah. Good so know. yeah, yeah really, really great. List. I'm glad we talked about that. Yeah, totally. Like, and, and not sponsored at all, but, um, I'm sure there's a dear Alice code. I guess if you listen, it there is, might be an it is, podcast, it's dear yeah. Alice 35 or something. It's, is it just dear Alice? I think it's just dear Alice. And you get 45% off. I tried the code the other day because I bought Jane sheets for college. Mm-hmm. Still worked guys. Mm-hmm. 45% off. That's awesome. So just type dear Alice in, but yeah, you can see like all of Oprah's favorite things, but the sweat, it, the sweat, do you have the sweatshirt? No. It's like the way it it's drapes amazing. is so lovely and it's got this really great hand to it. I can't describe it, but I want the bottoms. I have two sweatshirts. I need to get the bottoms. Amazing. The bottoms. I feel, yeah. And like we got our first pair a long time ago. Yeah. That has like the color fast on that thing. And like, there's no peeling ever on it. Like it's like, they're amazing. We They're amazing got them. And they look so flattering. They are. Like even on a Because at your waist, period, whatever, it, it drapes pretty. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. Anyway. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Uh, so. This is a freebie to Cozy okay. Earth too. I yeah. You guys are listening. It's yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, we genuinely love, yeah, love no. it. Yeah, we do. So we do. good. Okay. Um, okay. Where another another gift that I think is so great to give, especially for the person that's hard to give for, mm-hmm. would be, um, I think, a memory in a frame. 
love with that. a love with a love letter. I feel like as our parents get older, they don't need more stuff, you know. They're but trying to get rid of it and slip. Yeah, it but my mom, um, all surrounding her um, kitchen sink and her kitchen where she's working all of the time, she has a bunch of um, windows with deep window sills. Um, and she has picture frames in them so she can see her kids or her grandkids while she's washing dishes. And really she just loves a memory. She loves to look at her people. And so I think any capture, even if it's just from your cell phone, that you just hurry and send it to print at whatever <laughs> online print shop you like um, and get it back and just slide it in a frame. I love our crystal picture frames. Yeah, yeah. They're completely clear. So they're going to go with anybody's decor. If, if it's for a female, I think... Yeah. The crystal orb frame orb is lovely. Mm -hmm. The crystal edge is the safest one. It's just a little beautiful um, sort of beveled edge. And it comes in both sizes. But it's just an easy, it's beautiful from the back. Mm -hmm. So you could put we it have on a new, a new table. We yeah. have a new size. So we Good have always had 4 by 6 5 by 7 mm -hmm. This year we developed an 8 by 10 um, Yeah, and the crystal orb, the scale of it to me is, when I saw it, I was like, that thing's amazing. It is amazing. Yeah. So yeah. So, super rad. And and that was a request from all of the people that shop. We're like, can we get this in eight by 10? Because mm -hmm. they love it so much. So if you're stumped or it's it's a father-in-law, mother-in-law, it's, you know, I just think giving a, a memory um, and sending love notes. And that can be, you know, everybody writes grandma a love note or, um, you know, if it's just the son or the like daughter. It's like a really lovely, like on a pretty piece of paper and it's a love note to someone that's really special to you. Yeah. Putting it in a frame is something like it would normally just go by the wayside in a drawer, maybe not be read very often. But if you have it like in a frame, they could put it like on their bedside or like somewhere where they can see it every day yeah. and be reminded. And I think we all just have people that like in our lives that need a love note. Definitely. You know, and that's honestly like my favorite gifts. Yeah. From Tom. Yeah. Is usually when you write something. That's mm -hmm. my favorite. Totally. And it's like the best part of the gift. It's the yeah. best thing on the table. Exactly. Yeah, definitely. Yep. So... Amen. I love, We're love so that. Things, for sure. That's a good one. Yeah. Um, okay. You had on here sample sets. I did. Yeah. Was that, what was that? I don't know. <laughs> I think oh, we talked I about <laughs> Wait, we were talking about when we were at Sephora and they give us, or maybe, give us a I don't know, maybe it's just that like the free, so. the free gift game is like oh, no. so big during holiday <sighs> that you get to have all of these fun things for yourself as you're giving, as you're thinking of like yeah. great gifts to give that, yeah. That there's always like a little kickback for yourself and you can fill your own stockings with them, yeah. which is really fun. <laughs> My mom loves to get do grab bags on this. We didn't even talk about that, but she like Let's she's let's like, unpack she's, that. Okay, she's a collector, so there's this place called NPS here in the Utah Valleys. Uh -huh. Anyway, and that woman just And loves like Nancy, a deal. P like P like Peter and S like Suzanne. Okay. NPS. Anyway, and they just have like all matter of just like scratch and dents, you know, just uh -huh. like across the board. I love and her. She just, she'll go through like the free section or the th clearance section of the clearance store and she'll just get all these things and she even the other day she was like so I found this thing it said Toto on it and it's a valve for like a sink that nobody needs but she's like but it was 50% off of this thing anyway oh aside from that, I love she her gets all these things yeah. all the time and she just always has like this bucket of all these like things for the kids <laughs> you know and so she'll like get a little bag and she'll throw a bunch of stuff and like give it to them like for Christmas. So that. actually Christmas is so funny with my mom because we get like all manner of whatnot. And she yeah. like loves gifting it. Like one year Cute. she got us all beanies, but they were all youth size because they didn't fit anybody. But <laughs> anyway, sorry, I divert. But the grab bag is really funny. If you like just want to uh. be silly and like get someone something for neighbors or something, yeah, a close friend. Totally. And it could be like serious, like all your favorite little things, throw it in a bag. I think that's fun if you're or an for aunt. Kids. Yeah. I think kids is really fun because you can yeah. honestly go to the dollar store uh -huh. and find just like a bunch of fun little things and give it to them. Cause like, yeah. I remember going to like San Rio as a kid and getting the grab bag. I yeah. loved it so much. Totally. And it's just like a hundred gifts, it felt like. Yeah. It just kept coming. So, yeah. You feel like you're no. winning the lottery. I know. Yeah. It just spills at you. Like you're just uh -huh. pulling the. Have you ever been to NPS? This is, I mean, kind of. Yes. You have? Mm hmm. Okay. I, I went to the, I think it would be... the old one on Industrial. Well, or California Ave. Back in the old days when I lived on Alice Lane, they had, I think, MPS or something like it up in the Farmington. Rugs. They had rugs, yeah. yeah. So I bought rugs there. I went there before I ever even had a store um, with somebody who was in the know. I feel like you have to know somebody that knows somebody, and Ooh. then you go and you're like, like back alley stuff. What is yeah. this place? And how is it? Yeah. I feel like one of them is if a diesel 
gets in an accident or if something happens to all of that stuff gets sent there and then it gets probably. claimed yeah. it's probably where some of the stuff goes from Alice Lane that it gets, fell off a truck yeah no it's like it's <laughs> yeah. like probably a lot of claims they probably buy claims or they dispose of things there mm -hmm. or something or it may, I think it's yeah. since like we've been doing product development I'm like these are all the this the no samples you know what yes. I mean I, I think because some of them when you yeah. go in there you're like this mm -hmm. looks like it could be from, it's just a little bit off though. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So totally. Sometimes I have to watch myself because I'm like, is this, I'll find something. I'm like, I think this is good, but it's just the best of the. Yeah. Not yeah. good. You know? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you're like, yeah. you feel is like you struck they gold call that you beer, found the one thing. They call that beer goggles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. You definitely have beer goggles. Yeah. That's what grandma does, but she does it with such a loving heart and girl, yeah. that girl can do a grab bag. I love the grab bag. So, I think that's so, cute. So, I think you can like interpret it. Cute for kids. Yeah. I think grab yeah. bags are really, really fun. Yeah. So. I like that too. So fun. Okay. We have a collection that we developed just in time for Black Friday. Mm -hmm. I'm so excited. It's going to land any day soon. I'm sure by the time the podcast is out, it's going to have landed, but it's called a curiosities collection. And it's something that I love so much when I'm shopping. I like to get these little objects and I like the object to have meaning. Mm -hmm. And I feel like it's a great gift to give because then you're connecting a moment in time with an object. And so when people are like, what is that little, what is that little brass hand on your mantle? And you're like, oh, that is when your dad proposed to me. And right, like there's little stories mm -hmm. that go along with it. So we created a series of brass objects for, and we're calling it the Curiosities Collection for gifting this season. It'll be up even beyond holiday. I think it's a good just because gift or a good moment in time gift like getting engaged or having a baby or starting a new job or mm. maybe you're moving and you're scared and so somebody gives you one of the objects to remember them with so their curiosities collection is a, a brass egg mm -hmm. it's so fun to hold in your hand too and it's heavy yeah it's like a paperweight almost so it's a dimensional egg and they each have a meaning so when you'll get them they're going to be in a drawstring bag and they have a little card that says what the brass egg means and it's kind of like opening a fortune cookie, right? And I like that because then you necessarily, it's like for people like me who overthink things, I can give someone something that itself has meaning and it, yes. I don't necessarily have to connect the meaning to something that resonates with them. Yeah. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah, that's one huge like that. thing like I, that I love about that collection. Mm -hmm. And yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm glad we like took the time to, you know, kind of, a, a, you know, address each product and really dive deep into things that have meanings mm -hmm. of their own yes so i agree um, um so so there's a brass egg and i think that one would be really fun to give um i wish i had i was just looking to see if i had the notes on which every single thing means but it, it could be like a new start to something like hey you're getting started at a new job or you're moving because you got into med school or mm -hmm. you know like maybe you're saying goodbye to a friend for a little while or maybe it's that she's you know you have a friend that struggled for fertility and she just found out she's pregnant and so you know that I think the brass egg is a lovely marker for that too and like congratulations you've been on my mind I'm so excited for you or yeah. or you had a miscarriage right or um or you're, I don't know, maybe you just got married and you're starting something new in life, a new adventure. Or you're like, happy Mother's Day, Mom. I can't think of a better place to start my life than in your womb. You're the greatest, you know? Mm -hmm. So I think there's like so many. W this brass egg is going to mean a, a million things to a million different people. And so I don't want to have to be the origin or the creator of why you give this gift. I just think people will know which object is best for them to give. Like egg is very hopeful. Yes. Like the symbol of hope. I don't know what it, it, the write up yeah. is, but that's what I feel when I like think of a nest or like mm -hmm. there's just a nurturing to it. Yeah. I do. I do love that. Yeah. Gifts with meanings. Honestly, if you can ever like the person you're giving mm -hmm. a gift to, if you can hit the, an emotional chord, mm -hmm. you know, it's like when we're designing for somebody, if we can like create like an emotional, emotional design means so much more. Emotional gifts means so much more. Yeah. So think about it. Like I know you guys said, I'm too thoughtful. I take too long. Uh -huh. but I think that that's why you're both great gift givers. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So I, and again, the Curiosities Collection is a really, I think it's, yeah, it's yeah. key. And I think there's a lot of deep meaning behind it. Yeah, for sure. The first of the Curiosities, which we decided to put in the collection, which wasn't before, but we're like, it's perfect, mm -hmm. is the Harper Hand, which on one hand is a, is a palm and the other hand is a fist and it's holding something and it's sort of this balance of giving and receiving 
and you know the open palm and the closed fist that's holding something Mm -hmm. and it's really beautiful with a book that's open and that in between if you have a reader somebody loves a big fashion book or a great interior design book tying the harper hand on the outside of it and giving it as a gift i think it's beautiful Mm -hmm. um but also the giving and receiving can mean anything it's like it also means connection um, so it could be whatever, but you can make that mean something as far as um, gift giving goes. So that. the Harper Hand is in the Curiosities Collection now. The Brass Egg, um, we have a... a like uh, We have a round clawfoot dish that we've always, we're like, man, we want to like make this better. Yeah, um, a so really larger defined lion's paw yep. on on the clawfoot dish, and it's 100% solid brass. And then we made a 100% solid brass um, tray, tray version of brass it. tray. So it's like, um, I don't know, 10 inches in circumference, I'm guessing, with the larger lion's paw, which I think is going to be great for vanities, for yeah. perfume bottles, or nightstands to put your jewelry in at night. The larger one? Yeah. I love it for a candy dish. Great for a candy say, dish. Like, yeah. We always like, we're always seeing, like, who will make dad cry first Yeah, on Christmas? Kylie always wins. She's really good at my Oh, nieces, cute. Kylie. She always gives really emotional design. But I was just like, I want to get one of those, and I want to put Werther's in it. Because that's what his mom always had on her coffee table. Oh, so that's just, like, so That's emotional cute. design. So even, like, filling it with something I think is always, like, lovely, you know. I love that so much. And yeah. then we've got um, a wishbone. A wishbone. Which yeah, is wishbone's actually so white brass. Yes. I didn't know brass came white, but it just looks silver. And the wishbone, I think, is just lovely. Again, like um, well wishes. It could be to a, a bride and groom. It could be like you're going off to take, a, you know, the MCAT or to pass hair school or to go to college or even um, starting just like a new year. I'm a very superstitious person. I like starting a new year. Yeah. yeah. So it's just like I, and I don't know why. I mean, it's just a day, but yeah. mm-hmm. I feel like it has to start over at some point. You know. So yeah. Um, I feel like. But like the more amount, the the greater amount of good energy you have going into a fresh start, yeah, the better. I love so that. So I'm always like, I don't know, I'm a very superstitious person, and it's yeah, weird, but I that's great. totally believe in that. I love it. Or or maybe somebody's starting a new job, right? And you yeah. want to give like send them in with a lot of great energy um, for that, or maybe they're going off to play in a really important sports game or something. You know, we all have these big events, and I just think it's cute to be able to tuck that in. It's a smaller one, but I also think really lovely to keep on your desk at work and or a mantle at home or an end table, or maybe it's just tucked in your nightstand drawer, but you just continue to get to feel um, the well wishes of somebody. And then the last one is a little horse. And um, this actually was a gift that Suzanne gave me probably like 10 years ago. And it's like, it looks like origami. It's white. And this is brass as well. And then um, on all the edges of it is sanded through and you can see the brass coming through. Mm-hmm. And I had it on my mantle forever. And so many people are like, whoa, what is that? They always go to grab it. They People are going to love your curio- your curiosities, whatever you get in. And they want to grab, people love little things. I don't know why. And then they want to know the story of the object. Mm-hmm. It's kind of like Monopoly pieces yeah. on a game yeah. board, right? Where you just, I think they're probably all missing from everybody's board because the kids like to just take them because they're these heavy right. objects. You always have a prize one that you always want to be because yeah. it had good luck or whatever. Totally, the little yeah. car or whatever. But these are like real life. Um, they're larger than that, obviously. Heavy, pure materials, really beautiful. But the horse is, um, tell them about where you originally found it. Yeah, so Jess, just so everyone knows, like, it's hard because she has a store called Alice Lane. <laughs> anyway, so she's not always like, and we're like, we've been like dear best friends for so long. Yeah. And so it's like, what it, What do I get Jess? And so I, like, I think for like the last, probably at least 10 years, like I always get you art. Yes, some type of art. It's the best. Just because like, and it has to be like original just because like, again, we, we have a store. So yeah. anyway, so this is one I was up at um, in Park City on Main Street and I saw I saw this horse and I was just like, that's Jess. Uh-huh. That's 100% Jess. Like it's organized. It's beautiful. It's structured. And I don't know. There was, and just like, it was just, it was curious. And uh-huh. anyway, so that was my gift to you. That was for, so for someone that you don't know what to give them, I think the Curiosities Collection is also yeah. awesome. It's and really very across thoughtful. The board, across yeah. the board. Like I feel like this is such a good gift giving, mm-hmm. but especially for the person you just don't know what to give gift but you want to give something that's special yeah these feel special even though that they're small I feel like there's a lot of like depth to them Mm -hmm. and I think the definitions that we're including with them are really beautiful and I just I just think there's such discipline to it but it's just so simple and beautiful and 
Um, I will say that when we're just like styling and doing people's homes, I love it when they have things like this because that's usually the part that like now we have like this collection. We always like try like, but if you have personal collections or you're gathering these things along the way, that's usually the thing that's missing from that tabletop. You know, they'll have mm-hmm. like the little personal mementos, things, but it just like mm-hmm. needs something scale wise and thoughtfulness wise. And that's, I think, where the collection comes in, the curiosities. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And so, yeah. Yeah. And also the brass bar. Oh, and the brass bar. Oh, wow. oh yes. So that's good. one of my favorites. Okay. The gold bar. So it looks like so a bar good. of gold. And I originally got this bar of gold in Palm Springs and it says on it, unreal. Um, but it is, it's so funny and campy and like, I just have it on a pile of of books or yeah on my cocktail big. table and people be like uh-uh you're decorating in gold <laughs> bars like it's so funny and yeah. kind of campy and old school and I love the gold bar so much yeah so we good. worked really hard on it at first it came back and it was 100 percent solid brass and we're like this is going to cost the people more money than a also, solid brass bar uh, yeah <laughs> like someone's dropping this you know a kid's dropping on their foot oh, like yeah, yeah it was just awesome so awesome. heavy yeah. so we actually had it made ha- half and half it's brass and aluminum it took some of the weight out it took a lot of the cost out it still looks incredible Ooh. i can't wait it's for you guys really to get it at home too. yeah every cocktail table i think it'd be fun on a desk at work um i think men are gonna love it but i mean i i bought it myself so uh, women love it too but um i there's i remembered gold one of the um, notes on it was purity it means and um I don't know. There's a lot of really beautiful words that went along with gold. And um, you guys can see what messaging is for you. All the notes are written up on our website. And um, Curiosities is, is um, it's just, I think, a really thoughtful connection. And then you get to put extra meaning into it as you write your note. But it will come with a little sort of one sentence about what it means, um, each of the objects. So anyway, that's going to be a really thoughtful gift to give, I think, along with the picture yeah. frame. Um, sheets is also on the oh, list. Yeah. Yeah. I think this is a great gift for, I like giving it for parents. Mm-hmm. Um, or it could be for, you know, whoever's name you drew. It's going to be a little, depending on your taste level and what's important to you in a sheet, it could be a more expensive gift to give. Mm-hmm. Um, you could also use that code, though. <laughs> That we told you about that because the earth has a really, really nice bamboo sheet. Yeah. You get 45 off. Yeah. We have favorite sheets. What's your favorite sheet? The Leapco linen. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. I think if I were getting it for my mom, I think you know who you're gifting it to. So you'll know what they appreciate. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, so. Yeah, you might overshoot the target. It might the overshoot the target. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. But the She the might tencil, just like a cotton I sheet. Think across the board, yeah. everyone loves tencel. Yeah. Like, I think you just, again, slippery little dolphin feet. It's yes. the best. So. I totally. think that that's really good. I think it's good for, again, for the practical person like Provo Grandma, you yeah. know, like for your mom or who, whoever's not going to get it for themselves. It's such a, a lovely gift mm-hmm. to do something like that and then like write the reason why and just like you deserve a good night's sleep. Yeah. And you know, I, I think that that's such a great gift. I think so too. I like the idea of if you're spending time with your parent for the holidays of making them open on Christmas Eve day washing them and pulling them on their bed for them so that they can sleep in them that night and wake up in them in Christmas morning um I just think there's nothing better than sleeping really really great and new sheets are just so great right and I feel like for ourselves we don't always think to do something like that like get new sheets Mm. or whatever so I just think it's such a good gift I love it and get white always not the saffron. Yeah. Not yeah. The, Don't get no, the saffron. Not do it. Um, uh, yeah. Let's see. We've got um, a special edition mm-hmm. thing that Corey and I developed, our chess runner. Mm-hmm. We made it available in this really beautiful burnt red. Red's been it's like so it on the fashion show runways. Mm-hmm. So we wanted to do something red, not just because of holiday. It's going to be beautiful all year round. But I think anybody that's spending a lot of time doing dishes like Provo Grandma yeah. or... A mom, a sister, whoever's name you drew for yourself. I think the runner is so good. And then if you wanted to pair it with something, the Fraser for a dish soap. Uh, and we also have a marble footed tray where you can keep the dish soap by your sink. I think oh, that cute. gift is just a bang out. That's so, so it's going to be so good. The chest runner is cool. I like doing this stuff is kind of like one thing that we're trying to do is release something, you know, for like every like gifting season that's just specific for that year. And I just think it's kind of cool. Like, you know, we, 
we will be able to look back in years time and be like, oh, remember the year that we did the chest rug and, you know, that special colorway or whatever. Mm -hmm. So I'm really excited about the things we're offering, like only for a limited time. Yeah. Um, It just makes it fun to develop stuff like that, to be like, oh, this is like kind of. You guys totally. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. And and it's kind of like, a, I don't know, our feather in the cap for the year. Yeah. I think um, that right now the, the, um, curious collection it's a it's a small limited run that we did Mm -hmm. i think we did like 200 of everything Mm -hmm. on the chess runner we did 30 yeah and so we'll just kind of see how it goes we're not really sure how the market will receive it but um i could see us continuing on with the curiosity collection and selling it year round Mm -hmm. the chess collection i think we'd come up with a new one so if you want them get them now because they are limited it's also fun to have something that we've developed and we've loved but then also see it in a different light you know, yes. so that's been really cool. Totally, yeah. totally. Thank you. Um, votives, I think the votives are really great. Mm. There, I think that could be a really good coworker gift oh, because you can put um, makeup brushes in it, pens at your desk in it. You could, Pretty. yeah, Maybe like a candle, you know, depending on the person, mm. what they'll value. Yeah, but I love that. Totally. Yeah, and for yourself. Uh-huh. I guess. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. yeah. We've got our it's Remy so votives, pretty. the Lennon, and then the Zoe. What's the new bubbly one? That's my favorite. Um, I believe that is the Lennon. Lennon, yeah. Mm-hmm. And they come in different okay. colorways, so you could choose the right one. You can also do a little nosegay of flowers in them and give that as a gift. That's a way good idea. You could just, you know, That's go to Trader so Joe's and divide that amongst like five votives, right? And just give a little thing of flowers for their desk. Yeah do that yeah mm-hmm. yeah I think that's really fun and then yeah. they can use it once the flowers are dead mm-hmm. in any way possible exactly. so it's a really affordable one um for throws mm-hmm. that's always really seasonal yeah, I think along like with it. that our um our Ralph throw is oh one gosh. that we love to use in styling when we go to other people's yeah. homes we've actually we've gifted it to to clients before because the Ralph throw is just like the chunk and chunky knit of it uh-huh it's just massive and heavy and it just like it looks as a scarf for your sofa basically yeah, and it just so like it rich. feels mm-hmm. it feels like Aaron Lauder's veil yeah you know like yeah it's so pretty yeah and it's just like an instant favorite yeah it's just so yeah. Scandinavian and big and chunky and the look is fantastic it's almost too heavy to put on your person but it it's is like, it's a big statement for a room yeah huge yeah it's a throw for the couch not yeah. for the people no. mm-hmm. yeah another thing we love to do with it is we love to fold it and then hide the seam of the sectional where it comes yeah. together from behind if your sectional is floating in a room, you don't want to see that your sectional is cut in half, mm-hmm. which it's all sectionals pieces. are. Yeah. So that row kind of behind the cushions looks incredible. If you're in the kitchen and you're looking at your room, that looks really beautiful and hides the seam. Yeah. So we do that in like every project. Yeah. yeah. Amazing. That's yeah. A good party trick. That's cool. So good. And I will say just like the fur throws, any throws, like this is another great gift if someone's going, I think anytime someone's going through a hard time, they want to throw and they want cinnamon toast. Like- <laughs> Oh, yes. I love you so much. <laughs> and a warm and I a want. warm the bowl of milk. Like, that's oh, all I man. want is I need some cinnamon toast. Uh-huh. Maybe some like a th- glass of warm milk for sure. <laughs> you guys, I started doing that like when I have I thought you were gonna say, flight. Uh, hold on, that's just weird. like warm more milk? I go and get like a steamer at Starbucks at the oh. and I just like sip that like a little old woman like on the plane. Oh, anyway, I like that. So, yeah. That's cool. Anyway, yeah. Yeah. why why cinnamon toast? I don't know why. It's a comfort thing. My mom must have, like, I bet it was something Pro Programma did for me. Like I, When I have the flu, all I want is cinnamon. Like, I feel mm. like it will kill all the sickness inside of me. Okay. <laughs> it's weird. It's like, kind of, like, heats up your yeah, yeah, spices know. of your yeah. inside. No, it's just, like, things are going to be okay. If you yeah, have, if it you is have comforting. Of, like, cinnamon toast and you have a warm blanket. Mm. Yeah. So if someone's going through a hard time, yeah. or if you just want to show them, them how much you love them, get them a really great loaf of bread and say, mm-hmm. this is for your cinnamon toast in the morning. And here's a blanket to cuddle in because I know that was really hard what you just went through. Yeah. Yeah. That's so good. So I love love that. that. It's a great idea. You guys, I know we've spent a lot on this episode. (laughs) We're going to let you have your lives back. I hope that was helpful. I want you to write in and tell us what your favorite gifts to give are because I love this conversation so much. And I know we're all going to be better if we don't gatekeep. So tell us what works for you every year and how you think about gift giving. Thank you so much for joining us and we will catch you next time. Hey, thanks for listening. If you like our show, please leave a five-star rating. 